Good morning, guys. It is almost 10.30, I believe. Oh no, it's 11. It's almost 11 o'clock this morning and we are on our way to church. <clears throat> Had a rough morning because baby was waking up every couple hours last night to nurse. I think he's just in his like growing season so he's wanting to nurse more and plus I think he's teething too so he's just wanting to nurse and wake mommy up um, so I'm a little tired but we are on our way to church this morning Saturday and I'm excited and um, yeah this is like I guess you could say my first time vlogging so it's kind of weird like I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking at this and I'm looking not at the camera so it's just weird um, and the light is not that good back here either let me see yeah the light is not that good but I think you guys can still see me um, yeah <sighs> my mom bought me this cute blouse with like these really like sleeves which I think is so cute she's always like finding stuff on sale like everywhere she goes she just finds stuff on sale i'm in the back seat with baby today he's sleeping let's peek at him he's knocked out yeah he, he's knocked out because he kept me up all night so <laughs> it's all good though i like when he sleeps because I know that he's resting so good and he ate before we left so he should be good for a couple of hours but if he gets hungry again because I like I said he's been eating a lot I did bring my shawl you know to put over me so I can go nurse I just I'm, I'm tired of like pumping and putting it in bottles and going places because like I have to wash the bottles out and washing bottles is not my friend especially when I'm tired so it's just so much easier to just nurse him if you didn't if you guys didn't know by now I am a big fan of breastfeeding um <laughs> when I first had him I was not a fan but now I am and I'm so glad that I stuck with it but it's easy what makes the night so easy is that you know if he's laying next to me I could just nurse him instead of having to go fix a bottle and warm it up and all that other stuff. But I kudos to moms who do use bottles with the breastfeeding or kudos to moms who do use formula because baby is getting fed and he's happy and he's not hungry. So kudos to moms because mommyhood is not easy, but I love it. Like <laughs> uh, it's not easy, but I love it. And So, um, yeah, I hope that we can go and grab something to eat after church. I really want some Panda Express. I love Panda Express. And I'm hoping that we can go grab something. Every time I go to Panda Express, they always give you receipts that allows you to get, like, a free entree when you come back. But the deal is that you have to fill it out within two days. And I always forget to fill it out. So, it's just like, ugh, like what's the point of me? I don't know. I'm gonna remember one day though. I'm gonna fill that receipt out. And I'm gonna get me some free food because who doesn't like free food? I know I do. So yeah, we at Wawa. Maybe, I think Zach is bringing me some coffee so I can get to today. I wanna go home and I wanna like try to clean, like deep clean today. If not the whole house, but at least a couple of rooms. Like I, I'm learning that I'm learning that cleaning, like being a mom and cleaning and having a baby that is like wants attention or wants to nurse or whatever. I'm learning that clean what you can and not trying to clean everything at once because it's never probably going to happen unless you have somebody that's helping you. Um, so if I can't clean the whole house, I will be satisfied with at least cleaning two places. And I at least today want to clean the two upstairs bathrooms and at least our room. And maybe like trying to like clean up in the kitchen because those are the places that we spend most of our time. The bathroom, the kitchen, and um, our room. So I need to keep those places 
the cleanest and I want to go through and clean and then you know um, spray get the spray down you know to get rid of germs and stuff because this flu and virus thing they got going on is no bueno it's no good so so that's it and we will see you guys after church I did want to come back on here for a second because I just read a post on Facebook about like the whole like firearm thing and how they are wanting to like do away with gun control and stuff like that. My thing is this, I'm gonna keep it short and I'm gonna keep it simple because this is a really like chaotic topic to talk about right now. But in my opinion, if I could just say like what I believe, I think that it's not so much of getting rid of guns like I, like I saw this post and it was about um Cain and Abel and how you know um Cain killed Abel with a rock and they were saying it's not a gun problem it's a heart problem and I I, I believe that I believe that it's not so much of a gun problem but it's a heart problem it's what's going on in your heart because you know whatever is in your heart it comes out and I believe that if you have wickedness in your heart, and which we all do, we all show, we all fall short of the glory of God. But I believe that it's, if it's in your heart to do, that's what you do. Whether it's with a rock, whether it's with a gun, a knife, a bomb. There are places that people go and they bomb up different places. Um, they can just strap a bomb to themselves and just blow up places, children, women, and it doesn't matter. So, I mean, it's, it's not so much that it's a gun problem, but it's what's have to do with your heart. It's what's in your heart that makes you, uh, that allows you to do those things. So, yeah. Oh, look, Zach's coming back. Ooh. Is this the, is this the way that the cup is, or is it? What? It's coffee? iced coffee. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way the cup is. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So it's about like 80 something degrees outside and it feels so good. I cannot wait for um, like more days like this so I can take Judah out and like push him in a stroller and stuff like that and him actually not have to be covered up because it's even though it's hot outside it's like still weather for like pneumonia and the flu and stuff like that so we're just being extra cautious but it's been pretty nice. CRVs out here. We're just looking for something that's going to uh, help us to be able to travel and have space, you know, with the car seat. Because my car is kind of small, and the car seat um, in the back seat causes us to push the passenger side seat like all the way up to the dashboard. And like when we're driving and stuff, let's say we have like an accident or somebody hits us and the airbag pops out, it will definitely hurt like whoever's in the passenger side. So we're just looking for something a little bit more spacious. Everything seems pretty nice. Yeah, I think um I think my mom was telling me that the used ones are well I know they're a little bit cheaper but the new ones are like 30,000 I think and the guy that is helping us look for car or CRVs he reminds us of Danny Glover like the way he talks and stuff I'm gonna try to get a, a video of him talking say hi okay. <laughs>